formalities led by the Kenya Rugby Union Chairman Mr. Richard Omuela is also accompanied by representatives from Sport Pesa, Telcom Kenya and Kenya Harlequin Chairman Mike Lucas just getting to go through the pre-match formalities before we head out into full-blooded rugby action the Christy Sevens Cup title is up at stake. Who will be the winner? Will it be Cabra Sugar defending the title? Or will Impala Saracens reign on their parade? The action is coming up shortly. Samuel Oliech, Samuel Motari, Timothy Makia, and Leo Adongo. Your center referee. Vigas Kirudia, assisted by Vincent Kondor, Eddie Mingo, official Peter Leo, and Kareem Leo C. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the final? Impala A? Impala! Impala A? Impala! Kaprasa A? In our picture there is Oscar Osir, former Kenya Sevens International, the man handling Impala Saracens during the National Sevens circuit. While Cabra Sugar also handled by a former Kenya Sevens International in Charles Cardovillis. In our picture there is Brian Tanga just having a feel of the ball before we head out into action here at the RFUA ground. This is the cup final of the Christie Sevens. This is what we have all been waiting for all weekend. Unfortunately, the sequence that had been seen during previous rounds of the National Sevens circuit will not happen this time round. We had had a different winner at each leg of the series. But these two teams have both won cup titles. Cabras winning the Sepetuka Sevens in Eldoret last, actually two weeks ago, while Impala won the second round, the Kabeberi Sevens, which was also played at this venue. And play gets underway. This is Sami Motari, goes into contact. Samson Onsomu steals that ball. He finds the floor. This Messi right now, cleaned up by Samuel Yech. That is Mark Kumue to Davis Makori. Seje Owade. Hard running from Seje Owade. Is this going to be the opening try of the game? Seje Owade exploits space and scores the game's opening try. Five zero to Impala with the conversion to come. Leo Seji Oade. Opens the scoring. And the conversion is good. Impala extend their lead. Resolution Impala Saras is seven. Mark Kwemoe to get the restart underway for Impala. They have struck first blood in this final, just as they did during the Sepetuka Sevens in Eldoret when they opened the scoring. 
But Cabras responded, winning that final by 26 points to 7. That was an awkward fall. Daniel Sikuta, was he taken out in the air? We don't know. The referee holds play for a moment. Daniel Sikuta, one of the hard men of Kenyan rugby. And when you see Remus in pain, it surely must be a lot of pain. tackle and a handling error so what is the referee going to call he calls for the handling error advantage impala as mark kumoy had broken probably looking to get his name on the scoreboard as well success during this tournament. Sami Oliech plays it through to Sami Motari. He's been hard running from Sami Motari. Kumoy once again with the distribution to Samson Onsomu. This is Owade, the try scorer. Plays it out wide to Davis Makori. This is Ian Minjire. Skips through two tackles. The offload to Seje Owade. Owade with ball in hand. Elects to go into contact. His offload was tentative. And the referee calls for an infringement. Looking a lot more positive from Impala. Cabras yet to get out of any gear. So probably stuck in the parking gear. on the floor is Messi and the advantage remains with Impala. They are asking all the questions at this moment. And they're the ones looking more likely to score. Put in there, Samson on Somu. And once again, Impala asking the questions. On Somu is repelled there by Dominic Osino. And the advantage is with. Brass Sugar, referee Lina Skinudia. This is a momentous occasion for him, handling his first major cup final. And this is Philip Wokorach exciting the crowd here. The offload to Dominic Osino. Osino keeps it alive. This is Wokorach just securing that rack out wide by Brian Tanga. Ball now with Dan Sikuta. Hard running Dan Sikuta plays the ball through to Malik Habil. Habil looking for support. Caught up in a spot of bother. No, he offloads to Johnston Mungao. Finds himself in a tussle there as he finds the deck. Sikuta once again plays it through to Brian Tanga. Tanga goes down under that heavy tackle from Davis Makori. 
There was a hint of a handling error there from Johnston Mungao. Impala keeping the ball alive through Sami Motari. Straight running from Sami Motari. Marco Kemoe to Leo Owade. Leo Seje Owade. His name can be a mouthful sometimes. What a face of play that has been. And this is hard running once again. Cabras Sugar. Asking questions right now. Dan Sikuta has men out wide in support. That is Malik Habil plays it through to Johnston Mungao. Remember, he did score the opening try in that 26-7 win over Impala during the Sepetuka 7's final. Dominic Osino breaks and he attempted to offload to Malik Habil. A tad too overconfident. Ian Minjire with a crucial intervention. It remains 7-0. But what a game we are having here at the RFUA ground. Resolution final Saracens reduced to six men. Ian Minjiri is sent to the North Chair. Ian Minjire has been sent off as a result of that tackle. The Saris are down to six men. What can Cabras Sugar do from this? Will they use the extra man advantage? Will they be able to get crucial points just before the interval? It is critical for them to do so. Dominic Cosino. The ball is played out wide to Philip Wokorac, composed as he receives that. He steps through Samuel Lech, fends off Mark Pemoy and scores 7 5. And we do have a game on our hands. That was a piece of brilliant individual skill from Philip Wokorach. Brian Tanga's conversion attempt sails wide. And <laughs> it is currently 7 5 as we head into the halftime break. And we're back for the second half. It is finally poised between the Impala Saracens and Cabra Sugar. This is the final of the Christie Sevens. National Sevens circuit points at stake as well. Remember, the winner of this competition will gain 22 points. The runner-up will claim 19 points, something that will help their cause on the National Sevens circuit overall standings. The ball is tapped back by Dan Sikuta, but Samson Onsomu reacting quickest to the loose ball. All in vain. 
Referee <laughs> Linus Kinudia had called for the knock on. Pretty cheeky from Samson on Somu. But anyway, is that what halfbacks are supposed to do? Yes. There is a lull in play as competition continues here in the final of the Christie Sevens. Cabras Sugar, the defending champions, trailing Impala by two points. Current scores 7-5. Leo Seje Owade scored for Impala, but Philip Wokorach responded with a try. And this is Dan Scooter. Does he ride through a tackle? Yes, he does. The offload is good, but so is that tackle. Crucial intervention from Davis Makori. Cabras keeping it alive, but once again another stoppage in play. The crowd roars as Cabras get a whiff of the Impala try line. The ball is stolen from the breakdown. But a penalty has been awarded. It is Cabras asking all the questions of Impala. It is looking messy on the floor. Richard Sidindi <laughs> making a nuisance of himself there and just easing the pressure for Impala. They will elect to find touch from the ensuing penalty. Samuel Liech, the man tasked with that, doesn't boot it too far out. Played out wide, Cabras just looking to ask questions once again. This is Malik Habil. He has Philip Wokorach on his outside. He also has Brian Tanga, but both of them heading into the rack. This is Felix Ayange, former Kenya Sevens International. The ball is open, it's on the floor. Impala looking to turn over possession. I'm sure there is a penalty coming. Yes, it has come. Linus Kinuvia once again penalizing Impala. Brian Tanga with all the urgency in the world right now steps. He has men on the inside. Dan Scooter stopped inches close to the try line. It is desperately close for Cabras, looking for that crucial try that will see them take the lead. Brian Tanga has a whiff of the try line, repulsed by <laughs> Samson Onsomu. The battle of two men, both probably five foot six inches each. It would have been a featherweight bout in boxing. But back to the action on the field. Penalty, <laughs> finally, two. Pala. Linus Kinuvia is reaching into his pockets and he sends Richard Sidindi to the sin bin. We'll just confirm who. Yes, Richard Sidindi has been sent to the sin bin. It's the second yellow card for Impala in the try has been scored. Dan Sikuta Kiani. Dan Scooter with the try for Cabra Sugar. 
hardly betraying any emotion on his face. Dan Sikuta badges over. Cabras take the lead, 10-5. Question is, will they be able to maintain this lead or can Impala mount a response? Philip Wokorach with the ensuing conversion. Is it going to be successful? Yes, it is. Current scores. 12-7 in favor of Cabras Sugar. Philip Wokorach extends the lead for the Cabras. Cabras Sugar RMC 12. Resolution Impala Saracens 7. Aerial ball once again is claimed. This is a foot race. Malik Habil. Is he going to? He does go over. He goes over. Talk about opportunity striking. That was an opportunistic try from Malik Habil. Pouncing on that loose ball. Just displaying his soccer skills to kick it forward. He reacted quickest and got his body on the ball. The try is good. Cabras now lead by 17 points to seven. Philip Wokorach with the conversion. Cabras now go 19-7 up against the Impala Saracens. They are currently coasting. Can they sustain this pressure? They have not allowed Impala to play thus far in the second half. Ball booted out into touch by Felix Ayange. Line out quickly taken. No, wasn't on the mark. And that's it. It is full time. Cabras Sugar win the second successive tournament on the National 7th Circuit, successfully defending the Christie Sevens with a 19-7 win over the Impala Saracens. It was a tale of two halves. Impala looking dominant in the first half, but Cabras coming back strongly in the second half and claiming the overall title, 19-7 the full-time score. It has been an exciting match indeed.
Act 2, Cabras Sugar, the cup winners at the Christie Sevens. It is interesting that a queen and a former Impala player actually plotted Impala's downfall. Philip Munesi, the team manager at Cabras Sugar, former player with Impala RFC, while Charles Cardovilis played for Impala's great rivals, Kenya Harlequin. As we just see the presentation ceremony there, in our picture, Richard Omoela, chairman of the Kenya Rugby Union, handing out the individual trophies to each member of Cabras Sugar. Having a word there with Dan Sikuta. Before we go into the final formalities of the evening, the cup presentation ceremony. Charles Cardovillis, the man who plotted the downfall, two wins on the national sevens circuit this year. Philip Munesi, former Impala player, now team manager at Cabras Sugar. And last but not least, Brian Tanga. And there is the trophy that will be awarded to the winners of the Christie Sevens. Ladies and gentlemen, any moment now presenting your Christie Sevens champions and new leaders on the national Sevens circuit. Cabras Sugar, that is Brian Tucker, the captain, receiving the trophy. Celebrating the capital. Oh, 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 oh,